<laughs> Before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment LDU at the end of your comment. By doing this, you will be entered in two different drawings. You'll be entered for a chance to win $50 in cash out, $50 in VC, or $50 in, uh, you know, toward NBA 2K. I even buy y'all the game if you don't got it, if you win uh, at the end of the week. We do this every single Friday, as long as y'all continue to support the videos, keep the likes up, and all of that. Also, at the end of the month, if we can continue to average 10K views, we will be giving away a next-gen console. So, there's going to be an Xbox or a PlayStation, whatever your choice is. And the more videos you like and comment on, the more chances you get to win, or you get entered to win. So, if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, make sure you go back, watch those, comment on them, like those videos, and uh, just give yourself a chance to win, man. There's a little bit of incentive for y'all to go back and watch these videos and, uh, you know, give yourself a chance to win something. I'm trying to give back to the community, man. And uh, without further ado, let's just get the video underway, bro. Look, a lot of people have been asking about my build, my defensive badges, and all of that good stuff. I've already done a build video. It was the Kawhi Leonard build video. That link is going to be down in the description. Um, I will show you guys my attributes right now. And we're just going to go through everything and, and show y'all why. Shot close, I just left it at 50. It just is what it is. My uh, my driving layup is at 60 because they made me do it. Driving dunk is 80. Um, in hindsight, I'm going to tell you some things that I would have done. Um, also, I'm 6'7", 190 pounds, 74, uh, 7 point, uh, 7, 7 4 wingspan. 80 mid-range, 85 three ball, uh, 76 free throw. That's just what I had left over. 70 pass accuracy, 70 ball handling. Uh, 40 speed with ball, uh, 83 interior defense, but I got a sleeve on, so it's 84 right now. Perimeter defense we did at 97 uh, because we wanted to get Hall of Fame clamps. We did 95 still because I wanted to only get a uh, glove on gold because I feel like I feel like Hall of Fame is overkill, and if they nerf it, you're not gonna be able, you're not gonna want to have anything other than gold anyway. So you know it is what it is, and uh, with that being the case. I felt like that would be plenty enough for me to be able to do the things that I'm going to need to do uh, with that. Block 80. Uh, in hindsight, I probably would have put that down some because those, you know, they really, I don't know how it really works, but, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I wanted to get the chase down artist on goal, so that's why I had done that. Uh, we got 80 offensive rebounding because I want to be able to get some of those boards when the little bitty guards are down there and Brute takes a shot or Gambit takes a shot. If my center takes a shot, I'm getting the rebound. Unless it's another 6 now with, with super high uh, defensive rebound. I'm getting that rebound, so you know that's just how that's going to go. Defensive rebounding, uh, 93. I put it at 93 because I wanted to get Box Out Beast on goal. I believe I got it on goal. We're going to see what I got it on uh, in a moment. And I think 94 would give it to you at Hall of Fame, but I would have had to give up something, uh, something else. If I thought about it now, I probably would have given up... Um, like I said, I probably would have given up some of that interior defense, and I would have gone at, with 70 interior defense, something like that. But, you know, we're, that's another bill for another day. 86 speed because I wanted to get uh, plus four. I'm at 90. 81 acceleration plus four. I'm at 85. Uh, 66 strength plus four. I'm at 70. 66 uh, vertical. Good night, baby. Love you, boy. Uh, 66 vertical. With, with plus four, I'm at 70, and 95 stamina plus four, I'm at 99. Y'all already know how that goes, man. So that's the bill right there. I, like, I know a lot of people had asked about it. My defensive settings, these are the settings that I play on. Y'all know it's already um, it's already changed back because I've gone out. Uh, shot meter off. Uh, we got that on very early. That's my shot timing. My defensive assist, zero. I put it on zero and I'm gonna tell y'all why and then the pass actors, I put this up all like to like 95, uh, 95 on the direction and then everything else like that. I put the defensive assist on zero because I have been labbing some things and I have been playing against players and I've been doing a lot of stuff, man. And I have come to realize that you have near complete control of your player when you put it on zero defensive assist and a lot of times what people do they do that back and forth back and forth back you know what i'm saying back and forth type deal and uh when they're doing that if they do that and you got your defensive assist on anything like above 10 or something like that it's gonna make you you know move along with him and a lot of times you just want to walk up on the side of them and keep him from you know they want to jump into you and and start a clamp animation or something like that and uh i played a pro amp we played some uh rec this weekend and i was doing that and it was like Mwah. i was a, i was really able to do what i wanted to with zero defensive assist if you don't feel comfortable with it that is fine you don't have to put it on zero defensive assist. That's just what I do. Uh, these are just my 
my badges right here. Man, I just put on some badges right here. Here come the drop step out. Word murder. I got John Slayer, uh, Acrobat, Rise Up. Don't even ask me why I got that. I think I got this just for the Atlanta Falcons or uh, something like that. Then we got Ariel Wilson, just so I can catch lobs and stuff like that, man. That's all I really got that badge for. Uh, we got for shooting. We got um we got Claymore. I got slippery off ball because I caught uh, catch and shoot the other day. Uh, my goal is to core limitless limitless range, and I'm not even close to that. But I'm I'm hoping that I can core that so I can get like dead eye agent threes or something like that. But uh, this is what we get with a slippery off ball. I just got it on Hall of Fame because I couldn't put it anywhere else. I could put it on guard up. It's really up to you, but I kind of just wanted to test it out, so I wanted to do that like this. You could do something like this, or you can go with amp like that. Uh, we got volume shooter. Could put it on volume shooter if you want to. The more you shoot the ball, the more it goes up. You got green machine down there. I could take this off of volume shooter, put it on green machine at Hall of Fame. Like that right there. That, that's probably just as good of a setup. Uh, just as good a setup as anything. Could put it on out. Like I said, catch and shoot, corner specialist, and uh, limitless range. And here, uh, you know, uh, for this, I got, I got floor general on. And uh, I can I could core that if I wanted to, but I don't want to. We got needle threader, bailout, quick first step. I think this is as high as I can get it to. And then um, then we got vice grip. I already got vice grip core. Don't need clamp breaker. Don't need killer combos. Don't need unpluckable. I don't need any of that because I I, I don't do uh, any of that. And I can only get unpluckable on bronze anyway. And we all know that that's not a good badge. Let's use L2 and uh and I can I could uh I can use L2 and and just defend the ball anyway. So. When I get the ball, it goes in the vice grip. I don't have anything to worry about, and then I'm good to go. And here is where the rubber meets the road, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. You could do your defensive setup a lot differently, but um, this is just how I did mine. Now, glove. I got glove cord on goal. I had clamps cord on Hall of Fame, but I wanted to take it down one, and I corded on... Um, I caught it on go, and it took my Hall of Fame clamps cord away. So that's one thing you don't want to do. Don't, don't, don't. Never core something at a lower level because then you got to work it back up there. So that's just a little pro tip for y'all. So we got clamps on Hall of Fame, glove on go. We got Challenger on Hall of Fame. You probably don't need Challenger on Hall of Fame. We do have a Challenger video coming up tomorrow, and hopefully you guys will be, you know, that's going to help y'all out a lot. But with the Challenger video, um, we're just gonna see what level the challenger is the best level of challenger and and how it affects uh, dead eye I got my boy Hezzy. Y'all loved Hezzy yesterday. We're gonna have him help us out with this one Um Right here. We got rebound chaser. Y'all know I got rebound chaser I could probably get away with it on silver, but a lot of times I like I mean, when we play in the park I have so much interior because I want to do two things in the park when we, I got the interior so that I can um I can switch on to the centers and stuff, and sometimes I'll be able to get some stops on them. And then also sometimes we want to be able to secure possessions and close out possessions. So I got rebound chaser. It helps out in the wreck a lot as well. Menace. This is a lot of things. This is, this is one of those badges that a lot of people, I don't know if they really understand it or not. But as long as you're close to the person for about two seconds, three seconds, it's going to pop and it's going to drop their defense. It's going to drop their offensive attributes. When it does that, I just I, I, I know at that point in time, if they're still allowing me to be in front of them when minutes pops, it's a good time for me to either reach or it's a good time for me to either move to the side and bump them and try to get a bump steal or something like that. Uh, chase down artists. We play a lot of wrecks, so I don't need chase down artists. Um, if we were in the park, I would probably change it up, but I, I, I don't need it at the moment um, just because, you know, we're in the wreck a lot. Anchor, I, I like the anchor badge, I'm not going to lie, because it doesn't allow people to really score on you like that when you're in the paint, and I'm labbing with it a little bit more when we get to the park. When we get back to the park, I'm going to tell y'all how that goes, um, but, you know, I, I'm going to have to get some more badges before we can do that. Pick Dodger, you don't even need Pick Dodger up this high. You can put it on, on, on bronze, and it's going to work pretty well, but I tell you what, man, I had it on silver, and I've had it on gold. You can get around the screens pretty well with it on bronze or silver, but gold... It's like you literally just melt through the screens. You don't have, you don't, you don't have, they, they can't really get a body on you. They have to set a damn good screen in order to hit you with that. Uh, off ball pass and workhorse. I got workhorse on just to have it on something because it definitely does help. Some days I actually do this. I actually come here and then I go here with it or whatever. Uh, previously, I didn't even have on brick wall and I was like that. But like I said, lately this seems to have me, this seems to be working for me really well if we're in the park 
I'm gonna go. I'll probably we, if we're in the park, we're probably gonna play sides um, a lot. So I probably won't even put workhorse on something like that. I'll be on ball. So I when I'm on ball, I'll probably go like this, or I will go with this. Uh, you know, but box out beast I normally do in the park just because because it allows us to secure those uh, secure rebounds and close out possessions and stuff like that. Um, if I start getting killed or something, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lab with, with the pogo stick. I'm gonna lay up some with the uh, post lockdown, but for right now, this seems to be working well. And last but not least, man, you know we got ankle braces on Hoff. And uh, like, bro, I don't even know how you call this bad. Look, I got no progress through it, progression toward it, because ankle braces do save you a lot, but sometimes it's like, uh, if you don't have it on, you gonna fall. But it, it doesn't pop as much as you would think so, but you know, it is what it is. So that's where we at with it, man, on the defensive badges. Like I said, hopefully we're going to be able to see if I can take Challenger down some tomorrow. Uh, but like we got Challenge on Hall of Fame, Clamps on Hall of Fame. We got our uh, glove. We got Menace on Hall of Fame, Rebound Chaser, uh, Off Ball Piss and Workhorse and uh, Brick Wall. We got Brick Wall on, not really for setting screens, but but it says increases effectiveness of screens, uh, increases the effectiveness of screens is tough to back down in the post and drains energy from opponents on physical contact. So, I mean, I feel like it helps me on, on offense, I mean, on defense, and I also feel like when people run into me, it helps me uh, stonewall them. It could just be placebo effect, but you know it is what it is. Uh, ankle braces and pick dodger. You can really arrange any of this stuff any way that you want to, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys where I am with, with it right now, how I've been playing great defense in the wreck, and how I've been doing this. All of this stuff is really overkill because I'm ass at the game. I'm really not that good, so I need every badge that I can get and every that that I can get in order to be able to stay in front of people and try to lock people down, man. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. That's where I met with it. But uh, you know, if it's overkill, I'm allowed to have overkill because I got Hezzy on the squad that can handle the ball. I got Brute on the squad that can handle the ball. I don't have to test the ball. All I need to do is be playing defense, getting boards, and shooting the rock. And that's what this build is for. And that's what those badges are gonna help you do, man. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you like the video and comment LDU uh, at the bottom. Like I said, we doing these building blocks or whatever. This is the perfect, this is like the, the, the pinnacle perimeter defensive badge setup. Comment LDU, you'll be able to get a chance. You'll, you'll be entered for a chance to win $50 in cash app or $50 in VC. And also you'll be entered to win a next gen console at the end of the month. And I'm gonna y'all next time. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys,